Hello, everybody. This is Jacob Sapashnik. Welcome to another episode of the Enchanting Lawyer Podcast. And like I mentioned last week, um, the last few episodes that we have before the end of the year, I'm going to try to do um, a few solo shows where I share some ideas. You know, some of these ideas may be uh, connected directly to um, um, you know business growth, law firm grow- growth, some of the things that I've done. But also, there are some things that I wanted to share uh, about my personal uh, experience in growth of my businesses over the years. You know, last week we talked about uh, failure. Uh, we shared um, a letter from one of our readers that had that experience, and I kind of shared some ideas um, in my own path. And today I wanted to um, talk about a, a, a topic that I've been hearing a lot about. People are talking about uh, the routines they have in their day. There's a, there's a very popular... Um, book called The Miracle Morning by Hal Elward, and uh, he talks about uh, the importance of, of, of a daily morning routine, and I really like that book. Um, I did follow a few uh, uh, points from there, but I tend to collect elements from different sources and just kind of apply it to my own, and, uh, and, and you know, if you ask me uh, uh, what my morning routine was um, uh, a year or, you know, a year, even two years ago, I probably would tell you that um, I didn't have one. It was very inconsistent. It was very, um, very confusing. If you ask me if uh, if I was an organized person, probably I would have, I would have said no. I mean, I probably wasn't. And you know, some people, some people are close to me, probably will tell you that I'm not considered to be a very organized person. But the truth is, I wish I had fixed my um, my life much, much sooner, and I probably would have done much better in in my business and also in my personal life. You know, the, the, the thing is not having routines and being disorganized, it's definitely, uh, there's a lot of um, uh, connections there. And, and I can tell you examples, uh, you know, even at work, uh, many times that I was not punctual, um, you know, finishing work, starting something something else at the same time, um, I never had time really to finish books, um, never had time to, um, uh, you know, talk to people around me uh, and give them specific advice. And I felt that I was actually inefficient, um, and, and and honestly losing sleep because of it. So I think that uh, maybe about uh, you know six months ago, where I really focused on on the effort to um, to having um, consistency in in what I'm doing. Uh, but I would say the need for a routine started about a year ago, and I feel that it. You know, having a routine is so, so important to being able to run a, a successful law firm, a successful business, and especially multiple businesses, kind of like what I'm doing right now. It's really important. So I need to get uh, to set good habits. And I started um, doing a lot of research. So, you know, I, I bought several books. I met several people. I worked with a few coaches just to get into the state of mind of understanding why you need a routine and how to set one. And so, uh, you know, learn how to um, actually um, uh, plan and actually follow through the creation of habits. And most importantly, how to keep them. Um, one of the first things that I've done is consistent uh, rise in the morning at 5.30 and actually exercise. So in my case, I don't, want, I don't like to go to the gym. I have I built a, um, kind of like a personal gym in my house. And I like to, uh, to use that as a, to exercise. But I do that every morning. Uh, at 5.30. And um, also started meditating a little bit after the exercise. And of course, um, probably within a couple of months, uh, I saw a big difference. I started, that my, you know, started doing my work on time. I started uh, following up with people. I started being more consistent. And the biggest thing is that I actually understood that I, I was following a routine and I had a routine. Uh, so a lot of things in my life kind of started to become automatic. Um, you know, getting up in the morning, um, doing the exercise, doing this, having breakfast, uh, reading what I'm supposed to read, making the notes. These things were always the same, became automatic. So kind of like I systemized my law firm uh, several years back where we had uh, started building system as far as how we, we do our legal work, how we um, interact with our clients, how we use our electronics uh, in, the, in the firm. Those systems 
implemented in the business definitely helped uh, increase uh, the revenues and, and, and make the, the, the business much more efficient. And this is a work in progress. We continue, continue to innovate, <clears throat> continue to improve the systems at the law firm. But I never set up similar systems for, for, my, for myself as one of the, uh, you know, the leaders of the business. And, um, and so I'm talking about personal automation for your life. And, and this basically is the routines that you set up. And so um, this is something that um, I can't emphasize enough. You know, the, the, the power of, of routines and, and goal setting is just, um, is just uh, unbelievable. So, um, so one of the things that um, I want to talk about now is, is, is how, do we, how, how do we create good habits? And good habits actually lead to um, uh, perfect routines. And this is what we need uh, to have a system for ourselves as individuals who are running businesses and um, you know, have families or whatever that we do in our life. So the first thing that I, we want to we do is identify uh, what we want to achieve. It's important because if we don't know what we want to achieve, uh, it's very difficult to, con to do anything. So we need to understand, um, maybe write down a, a, a few personal and professional goals. And, and, and around those goals, you can develop new habits. So if you need to, uh, to be at work early so you can start um, you know, getting work done or meeting with clients, you want to get up early in the morning, do everything that you're supposed to be doing at home, and then you know this is going to happen every day. So, uh, you know, it, it's, for example, you know, let's say um, you know, I get a lot of attorneys who want to learn about social media. So the goal is to learn about social media and to be um, proficient in that. So maybe you can start by, but they never do anything about it. So maybe you can start by spending, uh, you know, 30 minutes every day on one social media site that you want to perfect and start learning in, inside out slowly, but do it consistently every day for 30 minutes uh, and, and start doing that. So that's the goal. And, 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 and you actually start implementing it. Um, the next thing you want to do is maybe start creating good habits into your routine. So, you know, you have a routine already, but you have to make sure that you have good habits. So, you know, for example, you can block a uh, consistent time for it in your schedule so that you can give your positive habit your full attention. So whatever that, that a good habit is, uh, whether it's the, you know, exercise in the morning, whether it's the, you know, e actually eating breakfast. And some, you know, some people, they, they don't eat breakfast and it may, not, it may not be a good impact on them. So maybe doing that. But whatever you start doing, Make sure that you block time and give it full attention. And that's the importance of building good habits into your routine. It's really much easier to establish consistent habits if they fall during the most productive time of the day. So that can be something that maybe very do it early in the morning or you know just kind of before lunch, uh, whatever that time is for you. It's important also to reflect on your habits. Um, you know, think about it. If you as you progress with whatever new habit you started, whether it's the exercise or you know, writing down some ideas or trying to learn something new to, to help your business, <clears throat> if you're trying to stick to it, um, you have to really think, well, like, why is this? You know, is it, it was just unrealistic or, or, may, or maybe you, you, know, you just put it in there. So if it was too ambitious, consider setting something more manageable short-term uh, to motivate yourself. And... Um, Again, if the if the change if the habit is not delivering the change that you expected, then you really have to reflect and kind of read back into it. What happened? Don't get discouraged. Start again. Tweak it a little bit until it's actually going to work and and deliver the little change. It's a small change, you know. You, you know, you're ringing for thirty minutes every day. After three weeks, you're going to know uh, what whatever you need to know about Facebook, and you're going to feel comfortable to start doing it. Or or if it's LinkedIn or whatever you're trying to 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 master. It's important also to develop self discipline. Um, you know, one way to do that is to create uh, some sort of, um, um, you know, a list. Uh, it could be visual, it could be, um, you can record it um, and listen to it every day. And this will remind you what your new positive habit is and why it's important to you. So you can, you can record, kind of like I'm recording right now, and say, you know, it's important for me to do this for 30 minutes a day because I need to be proficient in this. And it's very important for me because I want to increase my revenue because I want to do this and this, whatever that is. Just record it and listen to it every day. Or you can write it down uh, you know, on, on a collage or kind of tape some, some photos or whatever that is and just look at it every day and you know that that's why you're doing it. And, um, and, um, and that's your self-discipline because you know that if you're not going to do it, then that goal won't be achieved. 
And, you know, finally, I would say it's important to get help. So if, um, you know, if, you, if you're trying to get set up a routine, you want to share with your, with your loved ones or your colleagues or, or people that are around you that they can uh, either check your progress or, or kind of comment on this and, and, and f you feel some motivation. There's also a bunch of apps out there that can help you track your progress as you, as you get your goals. But I always think that human interaction is the best and you definitely want to share <clears throat> Share your success. So kind of summarize it, identify what you want to achieve, build good habits into the routine, reflect on your habits, work on self-discipline and get help, uh, whether it's uh, personal help or, or from technology. So this is kind of like some of the things that I've been doing recently. Um, you know, it's, it's, I, I think that I'm looking at some of the stuff that I've been doing. So I can tell you some of the um, um, elements of, of what I've done. So, one of the things is, is, is have a consistent wake up time. So um, I always wake up at five thirty. Um, you, know, you know, do my exercise. Do you know, do do a quick meditation. But it's always the same, and I always do it at five thirty because for me, it's kind of like an an hour where it's quiet and I can do what I need. But it's always consistent, and it's been very important. So that's that's one one uh, one takeaway I can tell you. Um, always start your day. Um, in a positive, in a good way. So some people like to um, to meditate. Some people like to do yoga. Um, I I like the the um, the two minutes meditation where I kind of run through the whole day that is coming ahead and I set myself on a positive mode, as opposed to thinking about all the oh my god, I have this client coming in, I've got this bill to pay. I don't think about those things. I think about the positive things that are happening, and I kind of set myself on a right mode to <clears throat> to start the day. Thing, next thing you do is I kind of review what is important in the day. So maybe I have two meetings that are key. Maybe I have to, uh, you know, pick up my daughter. Maybe I have to, um, you know, so, you know, put the priorities um, and set them in order. And this way you know that as long as you accomplish those four things in the day, everything else is not going to matter. And if you do it, great. And if not, then you can do it the next day. Sometimes if you don't do it, it feels like you don't know where to start, you feel like it feels like the whole day is kind of um, um, already collapsing because you have not met any of your goals. But if you have those priorities set, you know at least you have to hit those. Anything else is going to be extra. So if you're doing it deliberately, um, you ensure that you make good use of all the moments of the day, not just those that are uh, cal calendared in your calendar. So it's cool. Um, I always, personally, I like to, uh, you know, after I finish my exercise and all that, um, I like to to eat something and 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 drink, whether it's coffee or juice. You know, there are people who don't eat in the morning, and um, and I think it's important because it's also a moment where you kind of, you know, whether it's five minutes or ten minutes, you kind of sip with yourself, you think. Uh, but but eating in the morning is has been proven to be a very important part of any successful person's um, schedule because it gives you the energy you need, it gives you a, a foundation for a great day. And, uh, and also, it gets your met metabolism started, especially if you exercise, if you're a person who exercises even a little bit, you need that to build, um, you know, to you know, build your physique, whatever. Again, the exercise is important because it's, it sets you in, in, a, in a good mode. It gives you a good uh, personal feeling, whether you, you do it for uh, health or for any other reason. And then when you eat breakfast, it kind of reemphasizes the activity that you started earlier in the morning. So I highly recommend it. Um, I also started, um, uh, you know, reading reading some books in the morning, whether it's just a few pages or um, or more, when I have time. But it, you know, it kind of gets you um, before the day starts. It takes you um, it takes your mind off of of the daily routine. So some people like to read news, the the, the actual paper, which is fine. Uh, I, I'll go with a book or some sort of a whether it's a business book or, 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 or just a novel or something. Or typically in the morning I'll read um, um, maybe a motivational book or a business book just to give me some ideas in, into my day. But just the, the, the reading itself helps a lot, puts your mind at ease and puts, you, puts your day in context. And I started doing something interesting. I started leaving the house every day at the same time. So, you know, of course, I, I have to take my kids to school, so it, it forces me to leave at the same time. But even without that, I try to make it, again, coming back to the systems we talked about, those systems we talked about um, at work, uh, it's the same thing. You know, if you do it every day at the same time, um, you will get into the mode. Uh, you'll be able to set clear expectations also from yourself that you need to get to work on time. 
you need to do this on time, you need to make the first appointment. So by trying to be consistent or leaving the house, you also set expectations that you have to keep all the other stuff in the day uh, consistent as well. So um, again, if you implement the morning routine that starts with a consistent wake-up time that is truly consistent, this should all kind of simply fall into place one after the other as a perfect life system. So this is just kind of um, um, something I wanted to share. A again, I feel that we focus too much on how to get more clients, how to do this, how to get the best technology for our business. But what we don't really realize is that us as the ones running those business, if we don't work on ourselves, if we don't work on building systems within ourselves, whether it's a, it's a morning routine, which to me is one of the most efficient systems out there, uh, whether it's building good habits that are consistent, whether it's taking care of ourselves, our buddies, making sure that we are healthy, making sure that we are confident into, uh, you know, as, as far as what we can do uh, with our abilities, uh, it's going to be very difficult to um, to continue to, to excel in it, whatever we do. So again, morning routine is something uh, that I wanted to share with you. And if you like it, if you uh, can start using it, I'd love to hear uh, how that's working for you. But I think that will be a good uh, something to con consider as we enter 2016. So thanks for listening. Thanks for uh, um, listening to uh, to my morning routine and the discussion about good habits. And if you uh, love to hear from you, if any comments uh, or any questions on this, feel free to email me or leave leave your comments at our uh, show notes. Thanks for listening. This is Jacob, your host, uh, the Enchanting Lawyer Podcast, and we'll see you at our next episode.